Growing up in the South, the deviled eggs were a staple of every major holiday, especially Easter brunch. So I decided to stick with the Easter theme and turn my deviled eggs into these cute little peeps. So the first step in making deviled egg filling, of course, is boiling eggs. I have tips for the perfect boiled egg you've ever seen. The first thing you wanna do is bring a pot of water to a rolling boil, and then you're gonna take your eggs and gently lower them down into the hot water. You don't wanna just plank them down because the egg white will crack. Put the top on the pot and turn the heat off, and you're gonna let them cook for about 12 minutes. Then you're gonna take your eggs out and plunge them right into a cold water bath. So just a big bowl filled with really cold ice water and you're gonna crack your eggs and then peel them under the water. So the cold water actually shocks the shell so you can peel it easier. So we have our already boiled and peeled eggs right here. They look beautiful. And I'm gonna show you how to make the deviled egg filling. So the first thing we're going to do is cut the bottoms off of our eggs. And this is so that when we plate our peeps, they're gonna stand up pretty tall and straight. So I'm just gonna take a little bitty sliver off the bottom of the egg. Perfect. And remember, when you're buying eggs to make these, the most beautiful, gorgeous yolks are found in those cage-free, farm-fresh eggs. You wanna go with the organic, the highest quality egg that you can because it's gonna have a prettier yolk. And so the second step is we're gonna cut off about a third of the top of the egg. So a generous third, because you wanna make sure you're cutting into the yolk of the egg. So what I'm gonna do now is just gently pop the yolk out of the egg whites. Just push up from the bottom. You're gonna wiggle this little yolk out. Okay, beautiful. So we have our bottom and then we have our top. And we're gonna wanna keep these together so that when we build our peeps, we have the top and the bottom them together. And we're gonna do this with all of our dozen of boiled eggs. I love deviled eggs. I grew up eating them at every major holiday. I don't know if I went to a major life event that did not have deviled eggs. So I love the presentation of these. So this can be a fun craft for you and your kids too. Maybe if you cut them, they help decorate them. They help put the filling inside. It'd be super fun. And I'm just wiping down these eggs to make sure I don't have any yolk on the outside of my top so it looks nice and clean. Awesome. All right, we are ready to make our deviled egg filling. So I'm gonna take all of these yolks, put them right in this bowl, and we are gonna smash these yolks with a fork. So you just wanna get them really smooth and creamy. You can also do this in a food processor if you want to. I just think it's easier to do it by hand, but you can do whatever method you like. And I love how punchy this color is. Like it looks so yellow and vibrant. Now I'm gonna add our mayonnaise. This is Duke's mayonnaise, which is one of my favorite brands. You have about a half a cup of mayonnaise, a little bit of mustard for flavor and some extra yellow color. And then just a little bit of garlic powder. I think this is about a fourth a teaspoon. Stir all this together. Look, it's nice and creamy. Oh, that color is so pretty. I remember one of the first times I made deviled eggs for my mother-in-law and she's a very Southern and wonderful. And I was like, oh my gosh, I hope she likes the way I did these. Cause in the South, the way you do your deviled egg is kind of like a statement of your identity and like how you like to cook. Luckily they were a hit. Just a funny Southern thing. Okay, so now we're gonna prepare our piping bag of deviled egg filling. So my favorite way to do a piping bag is actually to put it into like a tall cup or a jar, just so you can get the sides of the bag kind of up and vertical. And then I just fold it down the side of the piping bag to make it easier to get all of our filling in here. And piping the filling in is kind of key to making these look like little chicks. If you use a spoon, it can get kind of messy and kind of, you really wanna keep it in that nice little shape to put the top of the egg on. It's gonna hold up your beak really nicely. So the piping bag is worth it. Okay, so we have two more steps that we've gotta do. The first thing is we're gonna create the beak. So the best way to do this is to get a baby carrot, just a fresh baby carrot. And then we're gonna slice a tiny round out of this carrot. So probably about a fourth an inch thick. And then we're gonna cut this into quarters. We're gonna do about five more slices and these are gonna become our beaks for our peeps. That rhymes. Beaks for the peeps. And I know this seems maybe a little detailed, but I promise you it's worth it. These are so cute. Okay, so we have our beaks ready to go. And then the final step is we're gonna create our little eyes. So we have black olives that are just cut in half. So I'm just using like a round metal piping tip to punch out the eyes from these little olive halves. Other recipes may tell you to use a straw, but I feel like a straw is hard because you kind of have to punch it out and then suck it back in and pop it out. It's a little more difficult. So so with this, I actually just punched the olive out of the, with the piping tip, and then there you go. And also I'm gonna use the smooth side of the olive skin for the eyeball part. So not the inner part of the olive. We're gonna turn them out so that they face. The shiny side is on the outside. Okay, so we have all of our ingredients assembled, ready to go to pipe our peep deviled eggs. These are so cute. I'm gonna show you how we're gonna do this. Take the top off. 
And then we are just gonna fill this guy up with filling. And then we're gonna plop our little eyes. And I'm using my food styling tweezers, just makes it easier. Right on front. And then we're gonna put our cute little carrot beak on. Awesome! So cute, okay. And then final little top. How cute are those? Love it. I'm gonna put it over here on our plate, our bed of parsley, little green nest for our peeps. We're gonna keep on building. And just be mindful, you guys, when you're making these, you may wanna boil more than 12 eggs just because they can be delicate. Sometimes when you're taking the yolk out, the backs can split a little bit. So if you're wanting to serve 12 pristine eggs, you may wanna boil a few extra. This guy just does not wanna stay up straight. This one's a fallen soldier. We're just gonna keep him over here. <laughs> He's struggling to stay upright. These two kind of broke on the back, so we're gonna put those over here. This is gonna be our final guy, our final little egg guy. He's so cute. Perfect. Bless your heart, little guy. You weren't made for this world, it's okay. <laughs> These are so cute, y'all. They look adorable. They're gonna be perfect for your Easter brunch, your get together. They're great for kids, families. Everyone is gonna enjoy these deviled egg peeps on this special holiday. Oh my word, this is so good. I would love to see how you did your cute little deviled egg peeps. Just take a photo, tag at Pop Kitchen, post it on Instagram, and comment below. I wanna know what you want to see me make next. Happy Easter, y'all!